Now, look at this. It's a letter from then Vice President Biden to Devon Archer, Hunter's business partner. Here it is. Dear Devon, I apologize for not getting a chance to talk to you at the luncheon yesterday. I was having trouble getting away from hosting President Hu. I hope I get a chance to see you again soon with Hunter. I hope you enjoyed lunch. Thanks for coming. Former Acting Attorney General of the United States is Matthew Whitaker joins me now. Is that a smoking gun, sir? It's not a smoking gun, Stu, and I'm glad to be with you today. Uh, what I see is just, it's a brick by brick um, construction of really a, a, a very solid foundation uh, of refuting Joe Biden's position on all of these, whether it's you know China, whether it's Ukraine, and it's very concerning. Joe Biden's uh, kind of approaching the line where, you know, it's pretty clear he lied to the American people politically. The question is, when he fired this prosecutor in U Ukraine, when he used a billion dollars to get Ukraine to fire the prosecutor, um, was that in furtherance of Hunter Biden's business interests? And if it was, that, that is a crime. And so we're, you know, we're not there yet, but certainly uh, the case is being built a brick at a time, and each of these things uh, contributes to that stronger foundation of that case. Uh, the other side of the coin, going after uh, Trump, the prosecutors want protection yeah. from what they call Trump's threats on social media. If they get that protection, would that affect Trump's freedom of speech? Yeah, yeah and that's the balance in, in all of these situations. If you get a uh, gag order or a protective order or any kind of uh, order from the court that prevents a defendant from exercising their First Amendment rights, uh, there's a very sensitive constitutional issue. And, you know, we have pretty much the reason the First Amendment's first in the United States is our founding fathers and really all Americans for over 247 years have felt like that is the foundation of our republic. And if that goes away, then we're all in trouble. And especially, I think that First Amendment is even heightened when you're running for president and your ability to communicate your message to voters. And so I think that is uh, the first issue that a judge is going to have to decide uh, that it then, then ultimately might make its way and wind its way to the Supreme Court. But there are so many unique legal issues in these Trump cases that, uh, you know, it's going to be, it's kind of a lawyer's dream, but it's, you know, judges <laughs> are going to have to make some real decisions. Eyes glued. Sir, thanks very much indeed. Matthew Whitaker, always great. Thanks for being with us.